So at the Museum of Modern Art, first things first, grab an audio guide. It'll give you a lot more insight into the paintings and the things that are around you, and you'll sound like a smart in front of all of your friends when you tell them what's going on. So what I like to do, I don't know, just walk around and see stuff. I'm like fascinated by everything that's around me. I don't really like this one too much though. <laughs> but I did like the floor. I thought that was pretty cool. Matisse was probably one of my favorites of the museum. That cup has fur and feathers. What? So the piano lesson was definitely my favorite of what Matisse has done. Picasso, eh. Who does that? Who asks Picasso? Tons of people to watch. I'm a fan. Are you guys a fan? Ooh, Starry Night. This is like heavy hitters. Shout out to the security guard because he was so knowledgeable of um, the paintings that are around. Jackson Pollock, this piece was enormous in person. And look at that. It's messing up. If anything I could do and have it up in an art gallery would be words on a canvas. I don't, I don't know. That's like a big old thimble. People on their phones. Andy Warhol, this was a cool room to be in. Clearly he loved Marilyn Monroe. This was cool in person. It was just so darn small, her face. And Campbell's soup, it's like, whoa. The audio said that he lined up all of the cans of soup just like a grocery store would in his house. And he ate soup for 20 years every single day. This was one of my favorites of the day, this photograph. I don't know. I just loved it. And um, I'm just going to leave it here because I enjoyed it so much. Thanks for spending your time going to the museum with me. And until next time, see ya.